What is up guys? Welcome to PvP for Dummies. So in this video, we're going to be walking you guys through basically tips for PvP, things that you should keep in mind, things that you should know if you're a new player that's, you know, just going into PvP, or even if you're a, you know, veteran PvP player, some of these might be helpful as well. So let's go ahead and start. The first tip is train tower shield. Now this obviously doesn't apply if you are an ice wizard but if you are any other school you're gonna want to invest your training points into tower shield first because this card is essential for pvp that minus 50 percent universally it's good against every school and uh, you're really you're gonna have to have it against balance because balance doesn't have a set shield so tower shield is very important there especially when they're spamming lures so there's the first tip guys train tower shield that's the first thing you could do to get ready for pvp moving on to the next one Alright, so the next thing you're going to want to have ready to go is a pet, but not just any pet. You can't just go anywhere, you know, buy a pet, go hatch with a pet. You need to have a pet with certain stats, okay? The most important stat you should be looking out for if you're completely new to PvP, you don't have a good pet yet, is spell proof. Uh, most pets have it, like most of the good pets for PvP have it. It's just, it's, it's essential to have this extra 10% resist because if you don't you just die quicker people can pierce through all of your armor so first off you know look for a pet with spell proof if you can get some damage talents as well and uh, spell defy if you don't have that also spell proof is really the most important talent to have like I, I feel like that's it's a must-have on every pet for pvp um so yeah go ahead and work on that if you haven't already go find someone with spell proof on a pet you should make that your goal if you don't have one and you're wanting to try pvp Get that pet first, okay? Because you're, you're really going to have to have that. All right, moving on to the next one. Now, this next one is uh, something that's kind of obvious. Um, before you go into PvP, you're going to want to have the right gear. And I know that can be hard sometimes, especially if you're just starting out. Uh, a lot of times when people do Magus PvP or, you know, Commander, or they, they want to get Commander or Warlord, they just don't have the right gear. So you're going to want to know what the best gear is for each level. If you're, if you're Magus, I recommend going to Mount Olympus, getting that gear. At least until you get enough tickets to buy uh, the commander gear or the, the gear before that. Let me show you guys what it looks like. So Magus, uh, anything lower than Magus level 40, they usually get the commander gear right here. Where is it? There it is. Nope, this one. Cal of Tribulation and then the robe and the boots. Uh, if you don't have that rank, the commander rank, you can always buy the one right before it. Right here. I think that's PvP Sergeant you have to be to get it. Sergeant, Corporal, one of the two. But that gear is really essential at that low level of PvP. If you're level 50, you know, you get the Glen Demings gear, and uh, Waterworks level 60, so on and so forth. Max, you get the Darkmoor gear, the Gauntlet gear. You just, you gotta have the right gear before you go into PvP. If you just go to the Bazaar and buy any set of gear and then just hop in, you're not gonna do well. Your stats aren't going to, you know, be that helpful, and you're just gonna die a lot quicker. So getting the right gear is extremely important. If you don't know what the right gear is for your level, there's tons of videos out there, tons of guides out there that can help you with that. So make sure you have the right gear and you farm for the right gear or get tickets for the right gear before you step into PvP. All right, guys, moving on to the next tip. So this next one is extremely important, and that is to have enchanted hits in your sideboard or your treasure card slots right here. So when you're in PvP, what a lot of people don't know is that you can enchant your hits before you go into the battle instead of having to, you know, go into your main deck and throw on a gargantuan or a monstrous to enchant it. Basically what you do, you fill up a deck with some of the attacks that you want to enchant, then you go to your treasure cards, throw in a couple of enchants, and put in two gargantuans, and then you just uh, come over here to Unicorn Way, fight any one of, any one of these uh, lost souls here. And then you simply, you know, lead a couple cards, uh, draw your enchants, and then you just throw it on there. But you don't cast it. You just delete it. You get rid of it. And then we pass. And I think there's one more that we have to enchant. But basically what this does is it increases your chances of pulling a hit when you need it. And it'll be enchanted and ready to go. So you don't have to, you know, wait for an enchant to pull up. So we're going to go ahead and kill this lost soul, and I'll show you what happened to the treasure cards that we just enchanted. Alright, so you go in here. These are our enchanted cards. And you just click on them, and it moves it to your, your treasure cards over here. 
and then you just go to your main deck so mine's is right here and then we'll just take out one to demonstrate you go find the one that you enchanted the 770 athena battle site as you can see it's it's different than the standard athena there's more damage because it is enchanted and then you just click it throw it in your sideboard so there you go there's a lot of hits right here you know ready enchanted and ready to go so you don't have to rely on pulling that gargantuan or that colossal so this tip's really important i highly recommend enchanting hits for actually any level of pvp i mean magus grandmaster most of the higher ranking people uh do that so moving on to the next tip all right so this next tip is something a lot of people don't think about when they're in a pvp match till it's too late and that is to stun block having stun block trained is extremely important if you don't have it trained you just come over here to diego the duel master and he offers it i already have it trained it is an ice spell stun block right here you really want to get this up as soon as possible on turn one is the best like you really you want it on asap because if you don't have a stun block on people can put on some nasty combos you know if you're versing a myth they can medusa stun you for two turns even if they're another school let's say they're balanced they can stun you and then hit you with a shadow spell and you're completely defenseless you have nothing because you can't you can't play your turn out you're stunned so stunning is stun blocking is extremely important also you know if you're not myth or ice and you don't have access to a card that stuns um throw in a stun in your treasure cards just go find one in the bazaar and just in case you can execute that combo with the stun i always see 3v3s 2v2s 4v4s those group matches uh even quick matches where the team loses just simply because they didn't throw on their stun blocks i mean especially in quick match 2v2 if you don't stun block as soon as possible and they storm lord you and it gives them another turn to hit you the game is basically over like you lose so stun blocking is extremely important in pvp even more so in group pvp like 2v2s and 4v4s so do keep that in mind now another thing that is very important before you go into ranked pvp or tournaments um, you know, this is optional, but it does help a lot, is to have access to the right spells. So, Lore Master spells, uh, spells from key bosses like Burning Rampage if you're fire, stuff like that. Um, you really want to have these spells. They make a huge difference. For example, Myth, we have uh, Athena, we have Ninja Pigs, and then we also have Keeper of the Flame. These are all lore spells. You can craft them as well, and they're really useful spells to have. I mean, especially Athena has won me games, so... And that goes um, for all the other schools as well. You know, Balance, they have Lore Master, which is an essential card for the Balance school. Uh, Fire, they have Brimstone, Revenant, Burning Rampage, Ice, they have Winter, Moon. You're really going to want to have these spells. They just It makes a huge difference, and you'll win a lot more matches having them trained. So if you don't already, go get your crafting rank up. Go craft you some spells, the spells you need for your school. Or farm Lore Master for days, for months, and eventually you'll get the cards you need. All right, so this next step, I feel like it's really helpful uh, mentally. It's something that I do that I always, you know, keep up with when I'm doing PvP. Uh, when I go into a ranked match and I lose a couple of matches, I usually take a break. Like, if you if you lose one or two matches, don't keep going. Take a break, go do something, read a book, do some homework, and then come back. Because if, if you're just losing matches, you're just going to feel worse. You're going to be off your game in the next match, and you'll just keep losing, and it's just going to be a mess. And... Also, don't give up. You know, I know there comes a point where, you, let's say you're climbing to Warlord and you get to Captain, everything's going well, and then all of a sudden you start losing again, and you go down to Sergeant. Don't freak out. You will get to Warlord eventually. You just have to keep trying. If you give up, you're not going to get anywhere. So never give up. Keep playing those matches. You'll get better. You'll get the experience you need, and you'll eventually get the rank that you want. And uh, yeah, I think we went through all the tips for this video. This uh, PvP for dummies. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I also hope that you know one, at least one of these helps you guys out in PvP. And uh, till the next time, this is Val signing off. Peace, guys. Shake.